All right, we have to get better. Somehow, some way. Somehow, some way, we have to get better at this game. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I see a shovel at the beginning, which is good. Whetstone plus healing herbs. I think this is solid. Maybe we just don't rock sword though. <laughs> we kind of just do that. I think that's good. Honestly, I kind of want to go piggy bank. I'm gonna reserve it just to try it. <clears throat> You're already built different. No, no, I suck at this game. Look at this guy's name, liar. That's what you are. That's what you are. Good game though. Boom, boom. I need space. But let's go ahead and go piggy. Banana. That thing. Space. We could go goober. You suck an ice wall. <laughs> Should we go Goobert? Let's go Goobert. We might be able to go um, still Goobert, which uh, is going to be good. Going against Reaper with just a torch and a bunch of food. <laughs> Uber Goober. <clears throat> Uber Gooby. Do we win? Yay. Awesome. Ours. All right, cool. I'm really happy I decided to save that Goobert. <laughs> Let's do that. Get a little bit more space. I guess sell this for vampirism. Or not vampirism. Uh, but for healing herb. Could be worth something, potentially. We got titties. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> do we win this? I don't know. Our stamina's getting eaten, his poison's increasing, and we probably lose this. Damn it. Good game, though. But now, we have Hero Sword, which is interesting. Um, Let's get the Gooberts. Okay, 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 okay. I'll just switch this out real quick so I can roll. Getting space here, I think, is the best thing I could possibly do. Huh. Um. I'll just move you down by one and then did that. That works. God dang it, I'm trying to grab the bag. There we go. Okay, I was hoping that would not do that, but <laughs> it's fine. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's roll with this. I need more bananas. Oh yeah, for stamina, you're right. And there was a banana there. I didn't even think about that. I should've gotten that banana. God damn it. It's okay, it's okay. We'll get the next one. I say we win this only because of Goobert. Getting that heal uh, helped us out a lot because he had a lot of DPS with Pan plus the Whetstones. Good game, good game. Got a Garlic. I want to roll. Actually, no, I'll get Lucky Clover and roll. Okay. Let's turn that into a Steel Goober and buy the Bone Arrow. Um, I kind of want to go Ruby Egg. I just like having Ruby Egg. This early is also kind of nice. I say we get Ruby Egg space. We're not going to be able to get everything, but we're going to need everything. So going against Spike Shoes with Torch. And a bunch of bananas. Um, I think we lose this. Our stamina usage is going to be low. 
And then he's also got this five spikes on him. So every time we deal damage, we deal five to ourselves. It's crazy. Boom! Got a hungry blade on the play. Hungry blade can be kind of interesting. Hungry blade can be kind of interesting. Um. Let's set this up a little bit differently. Holy space, we need space so bad. Let's turn this into a Fortuna's Grace. And I say we probably just buy space here. To even have a spot to put the freaking... Well, he could just go here, I guess. We still need space, though. So yeah, I think just buying double space here is good. Um, Hungry Blade might not be bad, though. Combined with Fortuna's Grace. But then again, this thing is a 1.1 stamina cost. It, they increase the stamina of the Bone Arrows and Bloodthorn, so our stamina usage is going to be even worse. Or we could just keep it as a Hungry Blade, which is just a 0.6. And then the, the uh, Fortuna's Grace is a 0.5, which isn't a lot of stamina usage. Potentially. And just invest into uh, vampirism. Or we get a different weapon. <laughs> I say we probably get a different weapon. I think that's the better play. <clears throat> Pal World? I saw, um, am I going to play? <laughs> I'm considering it. To be honest, I'm considering it. I kind of do want to, though. We can actually sell this. Um, let's switch these out so we can roll. It's gonna be on a game pass. I'll probably just buy it. I just I want to play it on Steam. <laughs> roll again. I'll I'll probably just buy it. Um, let's get that. Hmm. I'm gonna move this entire situation over. Just so I can do that <laughs> for the piggy bank. I think I'll be good. And we'll roll with this. See what happens. Steam Paladuki. Excuse me. No, it's not. PC Gamer Master Race. Excuse me. <laughs> um, We should definitely beat this guy. I feel like our DPS is just higher than this. Even with the two titties he has. I feel like our DPS is just better. <clears throat> and then we also got the survivability of the Steel Guru plus Banana and everything like that. I feel like we should be pretty good 21 to 24 damage yep 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 thank you what if we went with the fencing the the fancy rapier that might not be a bad investment honestly i say let's do it i've never used them before i've never used the fancy fencing rapier before but Let's do it. And then we'll just go um, piercing arrow next round. So we can actually start generating clovers because we don't have any. <laughs> What's the stamina use? Is a 0.6? Not, that's not too bad. 0.6 isn't too bad. All right, I think that's good. And let's... Hmm... I still want to get the ruby egg, if I'm being honest. I want to roll for space, but I... You know what? Let's just do that. Instead of rolling for space, we'll just buy the potion belt. Ooh. Dangerous build. Hammer, plus the daggers, plus the titties. Probably going to lose this. Oh, I forgot. When we miss, we actually gain uh, the luck, and then it does more damage. Whew. Crazy. All right. Piercing arrow. Can go right there. And then we just need Ruby. Oh, uh, yeah, let's buy this one. And that can go right there. Oh, I was like, why aren't you using the activations? Because it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not hatched. Okay. That's actually fine. 
Mm. I can just go there. Actually, let's do that. That still didn't help us out, did it? <laughs> God damn it. Um. Okay, at least that helps. Alright, that works. We'll get that too, because I need to buy that. Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, we should definitely beat this guy. I feel like our build's a little bit more mature than his ass, to be honest. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, 46 critical right there, crazy. And then double Fortunas? What's his damage looking like? 19 to 25 damage? Nasty. Okay, okay, okay. Um. I feel like our build is pretty solidified now. We don't realistically need to buy another weapon, so we're not getting that. Space is something we definitely need. And we can even invest into the Gloves of Haste as well. <clears throat> I feel like that would also be pretty damn good good for us nice it's also by you roll you know what let's get some jewels jewels wouldn't be bad actually yeah we could sell one of you for the box yeah i think that's good I think this is good. Going against a lightsaber with a hungry blade, a lot of regeneration, a lot of mana. Okay. That's going to help us out a lot, though, because when we miss, we gain more damage. So our accuracy is a 40% accuracy right now. Boom, miss, gain more damage. And then his debuff is gone. We're about at 80% accuracy, 37 critical right there. Very nice. Double hit with the Fortuna's Grace. Miss again. Gain even more damage. <clears throat> Our DPS is pretty nice, man. Not gonna lie. I like it. Picasso, 34 right there. Nice. 25. There we go. Good game. Good game. <clears throat> the biiggest thing we need right now, I think, is uh, the rings. I think the critting rings will help us a lot with the crits. Um, Don't really want anything here but the fanny pack. Don't want... Well... Nah. I like that space. I like that space a lot. There we go. There's the ring I was fishing for. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We could put the ring there. I feel like this guy critting is a little bit better. We're going to need more rings, though. So, we're going to have to invest into that. We can move this up now. For better activations. This can be moved. Well... Honestly, let's just put this on a uh, Fortunas. So make that a little bit faster. And then we can still move this over so that we can put you there. Eh. I could rather have it like this. That oh, I thought that counted. <laughs> this is good though. Should we get this? Let's get that. It's, it's on sale. You know what I mean? It, it could be good late game or whatnot. I think it'll be good. Versus man's. Thorn whip, a little bit of regeneration. With the cap. Okay. I said we probably win this one as well, though. Honestly. There's a crit chance at 18. It's not high. 34. We need a lot of rings. Oh my gosh. We're going to need a lot of rings. Just so that thing can crit and utilize the Fortuna's Grace uh, on a critical situation. <clears throat> At least the damage does increase a lot, though. 48 crit right there. Nasty. Whew. When it crits, it's crazy, though. 
Um, I feel like getting the Dijon Elite would be good for us. Honestly, I'm going to reserve that as well. Getting this would be good too, but let's get that. Oh, I could get this at the same time. Okay, I didn't know that. Let's um let's do this. And then I'm gonna upgrade that into vampire gloves. I think that'd be better. We'll get the um uh, survivability because of the vampirism and then the increase in speed up, I think will be good. This is interesting though. He's going for all three of like the big three poison weapons: Dark Saber, Thorn Whip, and Bow and Arrow. And he's also got double stand on a potion. He's going to be dealing a lot of damage at the beginning, but I think once those stamina potions are used, it's over with. But he's already dealt so much damage to us. I don't even think it matters. There goes the first and second stamina potion. Six left. Yeah. Ha! Wow. I know he's angry. We did 50 damage at the very end there. 50 damage from something. He just took 50 damage. There it is right there. We did 50 damage right there. To kill him. And then the battle, the battle kept going for some reason. Wow. Okay, yeah, he was at 73. Versus 6. Boom, 50 damage. Right there. And then he dealt 7 damage to us or something. From Pierce, but we only took... I don't know how that works. But anyways, um... And then he took 14 from the, for, from the Fortuna Grace and another 12 to kill him. Wow, at the very end there, I would be mad. <clears throat> Personally, I'd be mad. I wouldn't let that slide, but that's just me. <laughs> um, let's. I want to get DJ Lamp in here because we have still Goobert, so we're gonna get that. Uh, we're gonna get you know that going hopefully. Um, getting the corrupted crystal can be good too. And then I'll just buy that. All right, this isn't looking too bad. Ooh, yes, yes. On sale, yes. What do we need? Yeah, we need life still, actually. Life still would be good. All right, going against Bloodthorn with Tuscan Piercer and the Hero Sword. Double banana, no stamina potions. And that's going to be a lot of stamina he's going to be using. So we'll see how well this goes for him. 39 critical off the back. With double down on Fortuna's Grace. Pretty nasty. 46 right there. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, 22 right there. Night. Damn. Woo. Well, we kind of just didn't lose anymore. What did that kind of just happen? Um. I'm going to switch that so that they can upgrade itself. Let's buy you. Turn that into a cap of resilience or cap of discomfort. We can sell the pig now, I think. Yeah, let's sell the pig, sell this. So that we can get the uh, the ruby. I'm actually going to put the ruby on there. For now. I think that would be good. Okay. I think that would be good. Going against just a bloodthorn? And a little bit of a little bit of nastiness, a little bit of upgraded in speed, little pineapples, little poison situation. Okay. Let's see what happens here. There goes our vampirism proccing. Good. 29 damage. Nice. We upgrade our survivability a little bit, which is really good for us, actually. Oh, look at that. 39 right there. Out of stamina for him. Really good for us. 57 right there. Beautiful. Keep it coming. Didn't crit there, though, unfortunately. We're going to have to rely on crits. Oh, 69. There we go. Come on. 42. It's going back and forth, man. It's going back and forth. One more big crit here. Oh, one more big crit there would have would have won. Come on. We can do this. There we go. 73. Woo. Good game. Good game. Good game. Nice combinations as well. That was going to help us out a lot. We need more mana generation, though, to proc that uh, Book of Life. Because that guy is not rocking. So let's guide that for the sake of regeneration. We'll buy that for space. Roll. 
Bite is for space. Roll. Roll. Okay, we got that. We got that. Good. I say we buy that just for the sake of stamina or amount, uh, 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 mana uh, generation for the Book of Life. I think would be wonderful. And that's a solid spot. We'll buy that next round. Put that somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, well, yeah, we could actually move it right there. That would be good. We go there too. I think that's a better spot though. All right, let's roll. You can also buy that fanny pack as well. All right, we can't lose. We're not losing a single round here. We're not losing against this guy. Even though his mana generation is nice, he's got claws of attack even better. They're gonna be scaling in DPS a lot and he's got potions to back it up. We're still not gonna lose against this guy. There's no way we're losing against this guy, right? Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Invulnerability. Massive. High key. 39 right there. Double with the Fortunas. Nice. Let me see it again. Let me see it again. Oh, you missed? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay to miss. Boom! Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, Acorn Collar for that critical. Honestly, I think... I don't know. I feel like putting the speed on a fencing rapier might... Be worth it realistically um not sure how i would do that though i could move this for 15 percent faster versus uh lifesteal could be worth it honestly getting a shield of a lore would be good though we don't have the money for it well, we need four gold. I could put it right there, too. That would be really good. That would be a really good investment. What would we sell? I mean, we could sell uh, regeneration. We don't need regeneration. We could even sell the customer card. I say that's what we do. Sell customer card, sell regeneration. Get the shield of Valor. Um, Healing reduce is okay. Let's switch these two out. I kind of want the chip ruby though for the healing is amplified by 10%. That can help us out with the uh, the healing that we're going to get from the ruby whelp. Not that much I want to sell here though. Unless I just sell the chip toe pass. I don't know. I feel like it might be okay. I feel like it might be okay. We'll just roll with this. I don't want to be too greedy. Okay, this is a legit build. He, and he's got double shield of Aelor. That's going to hurt us before, uh, for stamina, uh, to be honest. Um, looks like he's got the Mana Thirst plus the Hero Sword with a regular torch. A little bit of potions. Some spikes in there, too. Okay, he's got a decent build, but ours might be better, potentially. Unless that healing from the Mana Thirst is just crazy. Which it procced as soon as our invulnerability proc, which is actually really good for us. I don't think he took that healing. Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful hit. Beautiful hit. Beautiful hit. There's, there's his hits, though. His hits are going crazy. And we win. Let's go. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go ahead and put that guy on there. We're not doing anything with mana, and I'm not about to switch out just for the, the slowness. So I say we don't get that. Can we utilize the Gloves of Haste here, though? I don't think we can. Because we're going to need the space to put it somewhere. The only thing I could realistically put it on probably would be the Degen Lamp. I don't think I should do that, though. Unless we just get it for Vampirism. I mean, I could put it on the Fortuna's Grace. Um... Let's do that. Let's let's just put it on the Fortuna's Grace. So I'm gonna buy you, you. I'll also buy you. You're on sale. We can switch this out to make that faster. And then, honestly, we, no, that needs to stay there because uh, that. Um. So yeah. Let's let's do that. We can potentially put something else right there. 
and make that faster. Which would be good for us. And the rest can just go like that. Alright, roll. Another mana orb we don't really need. It's not like we're generating a lot of mana in order to proc the actual mana orb, I don't think. It would be nice, but I don't... I don't think we're gonna get there regardless. I mean, if we did get it, though, right here would be a perfect spot. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. We only have three rounds left. We could just sell this box of riches. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the box of riches. We only got three rounds left. So let's buy that. We don't really need space like that, though. If we can get a potion, though, a strong skin potion, it can insta proc because we're gonna have enough of the protective purses. So I'll get the protective purse. And then we also got that as soon as we said something about vampirism. So that's not too bad. Going against Fortuna's Grace and Bloodthorn. Interesting, with a bunch of regeneration for that Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn's gonna be going crazy here. As far as DPS goes, I don't know if we're gonna be able to out DPS them. Especially if that Jin procs. Okay, so the Jin's not gonna proc, beautiful. Which is good, he didn't get the um, the Pierce or the Clovers fast enough. Which is good for us. Okay, there goes the DPS from him. Okay, we're winning so far. Unless he just hits us with like 100 damage here or something. I say we take this. Come on. We can do it. Boom. Come on, hit him. Let's go. Beautiful. Okay, we got two more. We got two more. We can do this. Spy you. Buy that. So next round, that'll be Rampier Gloves. Let's roll. Okay. Don't really need Blueberry. I mean, the Blueberries can help us gain uh, the Clovers, though. For critting. I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, should I just get that one lonely clover? Let's just get that one lonely clover, too. Might not be a bad choice. So let's do that. Clover can just go there. I think that's solid. I think that's solid. Okay. Alright, who are we going against? A bunch of cards. Probably a bunch of regeneration cards with that Bloodthorn. This looks like a lot stronger Bloodthorn build. So, we will see what happens here. Our invulnerability does proc a lot sooner than I would like, to be honest. Which is probably because we got two mana um, orbs now. But hopefully we can get up to 30 mana to proc one of them before the before he does 54 damage to us. And his damage is just going to keep increasing. 60 though! Woo! We're right there with the damage, buddy. We're right there. We're meeting you with the damage. Come on. And he's dead. Oh my god. Have I been underestimating you this entire time, my friend? Because that's what it feels like. This is my first time using the fencing rapier, by the way. First time. Feels like I'm underestimating it. Should we go double? We could go double glowing crowns. I say we do that. We'll go double glowing crowns here. And then we'll just buy the protective purse. And that's, uh, that's a... Yeah, that's game. That's game. Is this going to be a perfect game? This might be a perfect game. If we can beat this guy, this would be a perfect game. We have to beat this guy. We have to beat this guy. Looks like a Bloodthorn with um, Claws of Attack and the Dragon. Plus Vampiric Armor, pretty dangerous. He's also got double glowing crowns, which is going to be nasty to us. He might be only able to proc one of them, though, before the battle ends. Because this mana generation isn't very high. He's only got seven so far. We've already procced. Have we procced both of ours already? I think we procced both of ours already. He's going to be able to proc one. Unless we just kill him here. Let's go. Let's go. We got our first perfect game. Our first perfect game. Oh my, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take a screenshot of this one. With fence, with fancy rape. I've never used fencing rapier. I've always despised it for no reason. Literally for no reason. I've always despised it and never ever wanted to use it ever. And I've got no idea why. I just didn't like it for some reason. Like my first interaction, what it was bad. And as soon as I use it, oh, look at you having you a perfect game. That is insane. Wow. I will take that. Heck yeah. How much damage did we do at the end there? Ended up doing 344 damage with Fancy Rapier, 187 with Fortuna's Grace, and then 58 with the Ruby Well. 
That is crazy. That is crazy. Fancing Fencing Rapier is actually pretty damn good, in my opinion. This thing never procced, by the way. Probably because we didn't get the pierce up high enough. If we had a second one, it would probably proc, or even like some pineapples or something. Um, but yeah, 31 to 37 damage on that die. Wow. Plus the criticals had a what a 60% chance of crit. If we had like just one more acon of collar, that would have been a hundred percent chance of crit. Would have been crazy. Versus a bloodthorn, by the way. We've defeated like three bloodthorn builds with this thing. Literally like three bloodthorn builds. Uh, can you do a backflip? No, I cannot do a backflip at all. 